Inside this class, we are going to discuss about if else if statement. So open the code editor. So you can see the title is if else if statement. So inside if else if statement, first I'm just going to create a variable. And when you are creating a variable, you can use this keyword keyword of where it is optional. If you if you not use again, your variable will work. But if you are using this, this will be more. Uh, just you can see uh, regular or this will be more uh, useful inside JavaScript so after the using of where keyword you can give the name of your variable for example I'm just saying color so instead of color you can write any other uh, just word also it's optional I'm just saying here for example blue color you have a variable by the name of blue so I'm just using here if color is equal equal to blue then there should be the result message document dot write so here you can just say for example uh, blue blue is the selected color so we can just save this just go to your web page and refresh so you can see blue is the selected color so we can just copy this save this and refresh so here we can just say orange we are just uh, writing here many condition so here also orange after that I can paste here one more time you can just say green color so here also you can say green so I'm just putting in the variable green so we can just save this and refresh so you can see green is the selected color because we have saved inside this if the color is this so we can use here if condition if the color is orange so you can just after the after this statement so you can see if statement is ended here we can start another if statement so this card the condition but this is not a good way instead of this if we can use here else if so here also we can just use here else if else if and we can just save this now come here and refresh so you can see the same result so we have green here we have blue here we have orange here so I'm just writing here blue let's check it is working or not save and refresh this time blue is the selected color so what we have here uh, you can focus here we have a variable inside this variable we can save the colors so we have saved here for example inside the if condition we have blue color we have orange color we have green color so what if you are writing a color that is not in the list here for example we have green color here we have orange we have blue for example I'm just writing here black color black is not in the list so we can save this now come here and refresh so you can see you got a no message you got no result if you want to display a message uh, just for a situation like this you can use here only else else not if so inside this parentheses you can copy this control C and you can paste here you can see uh, you can say just undefined color we can save this and a refresh so you can see we got the message undefined color which you are writing the name of colors which are not in the list for example this time I'm just writing here uh, purple we can save this and refresh so again you got the same message so this is the ending point of your else if statement so inside this after this variable you can use many time multiple time else if condition you can just create hundred lines of code by using else if if you are if you have multiple condition but at the end you can break your condition or you can end your condition with using else you can see this is the ending point uh, yes friends it was about if else if condition uh, I hope you are understand and you have learned how you can use this. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next class.